Hey there, today we are going to be talking more about how to write subtraction sentences. So remember, subtraction means to take something away or take it apart. So our question is, how can we write subtraction sentences? And before we start, I just want to review that this is the subtraction symbol, and we call it the minus symbol. So it looks like a little dash or a little line, um, but that's the symbol you're going to need when you are writing a subtraction sentence. So we're going to start first with a story problem. I'm going to tell you about some turtles. So there were four turtles on the beach. One of them crawled away. How many are left? Okay, I'll say it one more time. There are four turtles on the beach. One of them crawls away. How many turtles are left? So this is going to be a subtraction problem because we have a total and then we're taking some away. So let me demonstrate that for you. Whenever you are writing your subtraction sentence, the first number you want to start out with is however many objects there were to start with. So in this case, I had four turtles originally on the beach. So I'm going to start my sentence with four. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my minus or subtraction symbol. The next number I'm going to put here is going to be the number that walked away. So remember in my sentence, I said that one crawled away. In my picture, I'm going to use this one and say that he is the one that crawled away. So I'm going to cross him out. So that's the one that walked away. So I have four minus this one. Remember equals is these two double lines here. That's gonna be the lines that tell us our answer or our total that how many are left. So there were four minus one. Let's count how many are left. One, two, three. So my subtraction sentence would read four minus one equals three. Okay, so that's one way to do it. In some of your math lessons, you're going to see some examples where they're going to ask you to come up with your own subtraction story or subtraction problem. So they're going to give you the number and you have to decide what the story is and finish the sentence. So let's do one together as an example. This time I'm going to say that my sentence is six minus something equals something, okay? So this time I'm going to use the example of, I'm going to say pieces of bubble gum. So let's say that I have six pieces of bubble gum. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Remember, in your subtraction sentence, the first number is always going to be the number of objects that you start out with. So I start out with six pieces of bubble gum. I decided to give two of them away to Miss Ballard. So I'm going to cross out these two and say that I gave them to Miss Ballard. And we'll say this is Miss Ballard. So here are the two that I gave away. Now, how many do I have left? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four. I have four left. So my subtraction sentence is going to be six minus two equals four, okay? So I hope that was helpful and you are going to use these examples to help you write your own and solve your own subtraction sentences.